my name is Jenna Gerfrich, and welcome to If You Knew My Story, the vlog series of our current production, Bright Star, here at Front Porch Theatricals. In this series, I will be sharing with you all the exciting information and inside scoops from behind the scenes here at Bright Star. Today, I will be interviewing our amazing cast and getting their special takes on this Tony-nominated musical. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. If you knew my story, Hi, I'm Erin Lindsay Crome and I play Alice Murphy. I'm Jeremy Rodriguez and I'm playing Jimmy Ray. Uh, I've lived. I was 16 and, uh, and I have a lot of similarities to young Alice. And um, some things I'm still working on for 38-year-old Alice, and some things I can only imagine. So I do a lot of work imagining what that might be like. They're so lovely. Front Porch does the best job of picking really extremely talented people and really good and kind people too. So we're having a blast. The cast is great. Um, we sound great, sounds great. Everyone's really smart and works really hard and they're a lot of fun. Everyone's so nice. Hi, because we're well fed. <laughs> um, Nick and I actually did a show together when we were both in the show, so it's been nice to kind of be, work together in this way. Um, I think he asked a lot of good questions and he definitely um, allows us to play and um, Explore basically, and then kind of shapes us from there, which is nice. So it's been fun. Uh, Nick has personal experience with the the contents of this musical, and so it's been really cool to uh, to go back, banter back and forth about what this storyline and situation entail. It is my first time working with Front Porch. Um, why did you choose to come out and audition, and how's the experience going? Um, I've seen their shows, and I really wanted to be a part of them. Um, I've never worked in the Hazlitt before, and I like how they use the space. I like the kind of work that they do. So, and I always see Nancy and Leon everywhere, and they're always joyously hugging people, and I'm like, I want to be joyously hugged like that when I see them, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy that now that I've, they've seen me in shows since this, I get the hugs and the celebrated hellos. This is not my first time working with Front Porch. It's my third. Uh, my first show with them was the last five years, which was five years ago, uh, with Dave Toole. Uh, and that was a fantastic experience. It was a dream role for me. And then uh, the following year, I believe it was the following year, I came back and did uh, Spitfire Grill, which was always a favorite show of mine since college. Uh, and I've auditioned every year and it hasn't been the right fit again until now. And I'll come back anytime they ask because they're a wonderful company to work for. Uh, a theme from the show that appeals to me is this idea of kismet, of destiny. And uh, actually Nick and I, the director and I, had a solid conversation at a bar about <laughs> about this idea of fate um, and I have experienced it a bit in my own life um, I think there are some things that are just a little bit beyond coincidence and there's no real explanation for why things uh, un un unfolded the way they did uh, and you're just left thinking that there's some magic in the universe that's accountable I really like um, that if you believe in something, I feel like Alice's journey of like waiting as long as it takes to kind of achieve this thing that you felt and that you believe in, I believe that some things are worth the wait. And um, it's, that is a battle, I feel like a struggle in itself is just holding out, waiting it out, you know.
That's all we have today for this episode of our If You Knew My Story vlog. We are all so excited for you to come and see Bright Star at the New Hazlitt Theater from May 17th through the 26th. For tickets, you can go to frontporch.showclicks.com and if you would like to know more information about our show and company, you can go to frontporchpgh.org. Thanks so much for watching and see you at the theater. It'll be alright Something tells me It's gonna be okay Something tells me It'll be alright Something tells me It's gonna be okay It's gonna be good